What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Kilo Loco. We're going to be doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to be talking about how you can make the most out of the tutorials that you watch coming up. So you've been watching a lot of tutorials, and this is mainly for the beginners. When you watch a lot of tutorials and you're like, okay, I'm going through the tutorial flow. I watch so many things. I kind of know how to do these things. I've followed along on a lot of these things, but I still don't feel, you know, quite ready to actually go out there, become a full developer or whatever it is, right? Go out, start applying for jobs. You just don't feel comfortable. So what you actually have to do is you have to make sure that you're making the most out of the tutorial, right? So if you're the type of person that, you know, is going watching a lot of tutorials and, you know, you might follow along. Sometimes you might not even be following along. You know, you're just watching. You're just ch sitting back, just watching. Like, it's not Netflix, guys. This is a tutorial. It's teaching you how to do something. You need to be following along. So... The first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that whenever you're watching a tutorial, make sure you're following along. This is going to allow you to actually, you know, do the keystrokes or whatever it is that the tutorial, whatever they're doing in the tutorial, you're going to be doing it too. Since you're actually going through the process of doing it yourself, you're actually going to start retaining a little bit of that information. Now, going through this tutorial once, you probably won't be able to retain the information all right off the bat, but actually going through and doing it will actually give you better retention than not doing it. So now that you're pretty much following along, you're going through, you're writing all the same code that the person that's doing the tutorial, you know, whether it's video or a blog post or whatever it is, since you're following along, now what you'll actually have is this project that you've written up and you'll actually own this project. So it will be on your computer. And whenever you're going through that same situation for whatever it is that the topic is being covered, you'll be able to go back and reference your own project as opposed to going on the internet and, you know, going through a different tutorial or going through, through maybe the same tutorial again. So the benefit is now that you've actually written it out, you followed along and you did it yourself. Now you have code that you wrote that you can go back and refer to. Now, another way to benefit yourself when you're watching the tutorial is, especially if, if you're doing it in code, what you could do is you can write your own notes in the comments. Like you could just do a comment right next to whatever line of code that they're explaining, and you could put your notes right there in a way that you'll understand it. Or if something, uh, or if there's a way that they explain it, then you could put, you know, you could either uh, type in exactly what they say, or like maybe summarize what they say right next to that line of code so that you can remember how to think about whatever it is that you're doing. And then the last thing that you really need to do whenever you're watching a tutorial is just make sure that after you're done with the tutorial, make sure you do something with whatever code you just wrote, right? Because it doesn't really make sense for you to go through, follow a tutorial, and then never use that information ever again, right? So the best thing for you to do is, and this is going to be for beginners, is to actually play with whatever tutorial that you're working with. So whatever you ended up building in this tutorial start making modifications, start making this code into your own code, maybe make a whole project out of it. Or I mean, hell, you could even make an app out of it. I don't know, you could be super creative with it. But start playing with some of this stuff. Anything that you don't understand, try modifying it. See what happens if you modify it. If you wrote poop right here, does it blow up? Or does it just change something? Or does it not do anything at all? And why does it change that thing? Why does poop cause, you know, massive destruction in this app now? figure it out, right? So what you want to do is you want to modify the code so that you can actually start um, having a better understanding. And this will help you internalize the knowledge that you're getting from this tutorial, because now you're going to understand, oh, if I do this, then that happens. And that's really all coding is, right? It's just a bunch of if else statements written in fancy ways. And we're like, hey, what's the architecture and 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 reactive programming and, and, and you know, stuff like that. So that's all we're really doing. And when you start doing that, essentially, you're practicing your code, you're you're writing code, you're modifying it, and you're learning, you know, essentially the cause and effect and see how and you're seeing how all this stuff kind of fits together. So to summarize, make sure you're following along, make sure you're writing down notes and make sure that you're going back and modifying the original code that you went through and wrote and play with it a little bit. 
This will give you a better understanding. So that's going to be all for today, guys. I like to keep this video nice and short. See how you like it, because this, this is a test. And I just wanted to see um, if I could give you guys a little bit of value outside of just showing you my code. But you know, I give you guys some sexy code, right? So hit that thumbs up if you like this video, you wanna see more of them like it. And if you have any other questions on how to improve yourself as a developer, let your boy know. I'll definitely cover that topic for you. All right, guys, go out there and keep coding passionately.